is Sally, sales executive from Maystar. Today, I would like to show you how to configure Google Point function in order to gain the utmost customer's engagement to your website and store. In this video, I'm going to walk you through these main parts. Firstly, how to configure the earning rate and manage it. Secondly, how to configure the spending rate and manage it. Thirdly, many points transaction and last but not least, many points balance of customers. Alright, let's get started with the first how to, how to configure the earning rate and manage it. On the back end page, you can see Regal Points tab on the menu bar. Clicking on it, you will see earning rate section. Please click on it to be redirected to earning rate page. To add new earning rate, please click on add new earning rate button. And then fill out all the required data on this page. For example, I insert the data like this. That means for each $10 customers from all groups spend on main website, they can own one point in their account. Please be note that with priority, the rate with the highest level will be applied first. In case there are two rates with the same priority, the rate created sooner will be applied. Click on Save button to save the work. Then on product page on front end, customers will be able to see the number of points they can receive when purchasing this order. Next, let's move on with how to configure the spending rate and manage it. The same with earning rate, please click on record points to see spending rate section and be redirected to spending rates page. On this page, you can click on the add new spending rate button and then fill out all the required data here. For example, if you want to allow your customers to exchange 2 points for $1 to spend on their orders and then limit the points customer can spend to be 10 points per order, you can enter data like this. Besides, you can also configure priority for rates. The rates with the highest priority will be applied first. In case there are two rates with the same priority, the one created sooner will be applied. Don't forget to click on Save button to apply it. Then on checkout page, customers can be able to spend points easily by sliding the points bar or maximize the discounts with points here. Now, let's go on with Manage Points Transaction. Please go to Reward Points and choose Transaction section to see the history of customer spending or earning points actions. You can even add points to or deduct points from customer's account as you want easily by clicking on Add Transaction button here. Then on this page, you can choose customer from the list first add or deduct points for this customer, add title and expiry date. Then save it to see the results. Now the customer has just got more points in his account. The next part that I would like to walk you through is manage points balance of customers. Firstly, please go to customers tab and choose all customers section. Then on the Customer Manager page, you can choose the customer you want to change balance by clicking on the Edit link in the Action column. After clicking on the Reward Points tab, all of that customer information will appear like this. You can add 5 in Change Balance or minus 5 to indicate that the customer account is going to be added or deducted with 5 points. You can also add Title and Expiry Date here and save it. After checking, you will see if the points balance of this customer has been updated correctly. There is another way for you to change points balance for customer's account which is import points. 
specifically on the list of customers in reward points balance information page you can click on import points then import the list of points to the page through a csv file the points can also be exported by your clicking on export button as a bonus in settings part You will be able to see a lot of helpful configuration. In general configuration tab, you can see such configuration like label for points or points image. In owning points configuration, you can see some basic configuration like routing method, expiry date. With the spending points configuration, you can see the maximum points customer can spend. So, I have just shown you how to set up reward points function in your system. I'm here to help. Then if you have any further concerns, feel free to contact me via our email, support at Thanks for watching.